why do I look like this? I'm like trying to figure out what to do with my hair right now for this video. And it's just not cooperating. I don't know why. Like I just wanna look like a little bit undone, not completely. Do you know what I mean? This look okay. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we talk about books and today I'm doing another unhinged book haul. These are a bunch of books that I've accumulated. There's like 25. You can't even see all of them. You can only see, yeah, there's like six more that you can't see. Um, I've accumulated them over the past few months and I haven't shown you guys so I thought I would. A lot of them I bought recently. It's been a rough time. This is how I cope. We're gonna start from the top. I don't even know if these are in the proper order, but I'm just gonna really quickly go through them. Um, they're definitely not in order in which I like got them, so just bear with me. So at the top here, I have the serpent. Oh my god, how do you even say this? The serpent and the wings of night, right? Yes. This is the first book in the crowns of. I don't even know how to say this. Neasha, Neaxia, I don't know, novel. And this is, like, it's not thick, but the pages are really big and the font is really small. And I know that it's been compared to Akatar and, like, a lot of other fantasy books. So I actually bought it because I was browsing on Amazon and it was on sale for, like, $15 Canadian, which is extremely, extremely cheap. And it's usually, like, $25. So I thought I would buy it. It did come a little tiny bit damage there but it's it's okay we're gonna we'll we'll deal with it next i got this series that just like got re-released in may that like is kind of under the radar but like people have started to hear about it and i wanted to get it before it like sold out like fourth wing did yeah so anyway i bought it because i love this author and i'm very excited to read this because it's been described as ya criminal minds and it's the i think they're not in the right order at all hold on i don't know the actual order of these i just know which one's first and which one's last i think now they're in the right order but it's the naturals series by jennifer lynn barnes if you don't know she also wrote the inheritance game series and i'm about to read the final gambit uh, soon hopefully <laughs> and yeah so I bought this because it just came out in these new covers and they're so cute and give like the same-ish vibes as the inheritance games so yeah and they're also YA so they're also very cheap they're like $15 Canadian next this was a pre-order that I got and came in recently it's brutal prince now I know that this didn't like just come out but it just got released by bloom in Canada and the US so I pre-ordered the first book of this and i hope i get to read it it has like pictures in it which is very interesting i think i pre-ordered the other ones too but i'm kind of scared what if i don't like it i might cancel the pre-orders for the other ones and just like get them if i like them because i'm lo low-key kind of scared <laughs> Next we have The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I know I talked about this in like a tag recently and it was because it was sitting right on my like desk right there or my makeup table. Um, so I like took it off but I haven't actually talked about buying this. So I think I bought this like impulsively at a store recently and it's the new Riley Sager book and I love Riley Sager so I just I had to buy it and I saw that Haley was reading it and everyone was reading it so I'm like I have to buy it and I'm hoping I'm going to read it I think this fall. This fall is going to be like my thriller era for sure. I like reading mystery thrillers here and there, but in the fall is when I really hunker down and read mystery thrillers and watch all those things. Next I have The Dragon Republic. Now this is the second book in the Bobby War series, which I have not read yet. I bought this on Book Outlet because it was on sale. You can see like the little Book Outlet mark and it is clearly like a little bit used and stuff so i don't mind because it was really cheap and it was because i had the pop more on my tbr this month so i thought i was gonna get to it and i haven't yet but i think i definitely am and my best friend read them and she loves them so i think i will like it i'm just um having a hard time getting to it 
that's all next we have Circe by Madeline Miller this is a retelling she also wrote the song of Achilles which I read recently and if you watched like that reading vlog my wrap-up for that I did have like I loved the book but I did have like a mixed opinion on it a little bit based off of like how she did her retelling but I've heard that this one is a lot better in that aspect so I'm excited for this yeah and it's really really short oh wait I lied it's like 400 pages I, I opened it halfway and saw 222 and thought that that was like the end of the book oopsie but yeah I'm really excited for this and the cover is just gorgeous like I love the metallic covers that she does i'm just like so disappointed in myself right now to be honest i don't know why all right next we have the villa by rachel hawkins this was also a book outlet purchase i'm pretty sure it doesn't have a mark on it at all but it's her new release and new ish i believe right like this is usually 40 dollars canadian and i think i got it for like 10 bucks on book outlet yeah there's no way i paid 40 dollars for this i wouldn't have i just i just wouldn't have i would have just waited yeah this came out this is this year um rachel hawkins writes a bunch of mystery like thrillery books and i have her other ones in hardcover and i've gotten them all off of book outlet so and they all look like this and they're so cute like i literally love her covers and how they look next to each other so yeah and this one's kind of short so i'm excited it says it's about these two friends who like were childhood friends and always inseparable and now they're in their 30s like you know life gets in the way so one of them suggests to go to italy for a girls trip and like have a chance to reconnect and there's this rock star named noel and another musician named pierce and his girlfriend yeah it's a mystery they're like digging into like this villa's past and something that happened in the summer of 1974 like the villa that they're staying at in paris yeah and then these secrets come to light so it sounds like a fun read and it's really short and like i said wanting to do reading vlogs of like mystery thrillers i might do like a reading an author for a video so maybe i'll do a rachel hawkins video okay next we have books that i've already read slash owned but i saw the hardcover box set on book outlet for something ridiculously low like $25 and I was like I need to buy it because I want to get like alternative jackets for these so I bought them and they are the inheritance games hardcover yeah we're just gonna leave it at that I feel like I don't need to say much more. I really want to annotate this book so I might do it in these copies I don't know I might give away my paperbacks this feels like a trophy and I wanted the like nice cover so I collect books as well as read them okay and then we have a book that I've been waiting for for a bit actually I pre-ordered it I've really been loving Anna Huang's books if you haven't noticed so I have King of Pride here King of Wrath is sitting on my shelf I haven't read it yet but I will soon but King of Pride came out and these are actually the UK versions they're really small I kind of like them I just I don't know how I ended up with this I think I bought the UK version of king of wrath on book depository before they closed and then i was like i need to find an alternative place to buy them now that i bought the uk version of the first one by accident kind of it's because it was just so much cheaper than buying the canadian one like the canadian one was like 25 dollars and the uk one was like 15 dollars canadian money like canadian dollars so so yeah i got these and they're not the exclusive versions like they're not the exclusive indigo or any of that but again like I don't need to spend $25 on a book if I can get it somewhere else cheaper. Like, I already buy too many books. I don't need to spend that much money on a book, you know? So, that's what we have. I need to, like, move these over because we don't have space for all these. And then we have another pre-order. This is a chunker. Uh, this is A Game of Gods by Scarlet St. Clair. This is the third book in the Hades point of view. Like, the Hades saga of the Hades and Persephone, like tandem series and i read the first one of each and freaking loved them so i literally pre-ordered all of the rest of them like as soon as i knew that they were coming out and this is the third one so i really want to get back into this series to be honest i've been in like my mythology era recently i read song of achilles i read percy jackson i want to get back into hades and persephone i think there's another greek mythology book somewhere in here so yeah i'm hoping to get back into this and i don't want to hear any like slander about these i literally love these books and it's not because i think that they're like historically accurate or any of that it's just because they're a lot of fun to me thanks next we have 
two books that now that I really think about it I think I bought the wrong ones um, not the wrong covers I did pick these covers but I <laughs> bought like the wrong one in the series so I didn't realize when I bought this one reckless that it was literally the fourth one in the series and I think it's because I saw that it was a new cover and it was a pre-order with like the other one or whatever so I thought this was the first one because I remembered it being pink and yeah it's the fourth one i didn't know that it's because it's a new cover pre-order so then i had to buy the first one which i'm pretty sure yeah it is this is the first one um and i did order the other two but they just like never came so i have to look into that but i'm excited to get into these i've heard a lot of great things about it i've never really like been into cowboys but i can see why they'd be hot <laughs> And I've just heard such good things about this and all of like the booktubers that I love their book recommendations like love these books so let me know if I can read these like out of order or if I have to read them in order let me know because if I don't have to read them in order I might just read like this one as well right away you know they're just the freaking covers like look at these these are so freaking cute and they're releasing something similar in Canada but this here the flawless was like big capital letters and it looks so gross so i like these a lot better all right next we have the summer girl by l kennedy this is i love l kennedy this is the third book and one of my favorite book like companion novel series ever the um avalon bay one good girl complex was one of the first books i read when i started reading again and i just i freaking loved it so i really want to get back into the series like hopefully before the summer ends stay tuned for my august tbr coming soon where i will talk about the books that i'm gonna read and who knows i'm trying to get like a lot of summer books off my tbr before summer ends so all right next we have a series i literally went crazy to be honest I don't know what possessed me this day i think i was just really out of it and like sad <laughs> anyway i have been begged to read uh once upon a broken heart and that whole series and i do want to read it because i do think that i will love it however i am the type of person who like i read vow of thieves and then i learned that there's a trilogy before it that did all the world building and i was like damn i kind of wish that i read that first so i don't want to do the same thing with this so i bought the caraval trilogy or whatever and i am going to read it hopefully and i'm gonna read it hopefully before september or october or whenever the curse for true love comes out because i want to read once upon a broken heart and all that before that comes out so i can read them together so oh, i'm just itching sorry that was probably so loud on the mic oh my god um but yeah i want to read that first so yeah right and then we have a greek mythology book like i was talking about so this is called air <laughs> why do we even try ariadne i don't even know someone tell me the pronunciation for these she's the princess of crete and yeah it says if you liked madeline miller's circe and the song of achilles you will eat up ariadne i feel like that's how you say it. ariadne something like that and this one's more about like woman in ancient greek society and like the patriarchal greek society so i'm really freaking excited about this and i want to read it yeah i'm in my mythology era so i purchased this okay okay and the last one i have oh my god the worker at the store who helped me find this is so freaking cute i was looking for this little box set of ve schwab's villains duology vicious and vengeful all the book two girlies are reading it and it's another book that i just like i think will be good to put on my tbr for this fall winter and interestingly i the app was like the indigo app was showing that they had it in stock at my local indigo but i literally could not find it anywhere i looked everywhere that i possibly could like i'm not the type of person who like asked someone for help unless i've looked everywhere so i looked everywhere i possibly could could not find it and finally i asked a worker and she was so sweet i had almost like given up because i thought she gave up and like i almost left and then she found me and she had it in her hands and i was like thank you so much it's just so much cheaper to buy <laughs> the duology than to buy them separately like buying them separately costs like 50 dollars and buying it together costs like 50 dollars I don't know i don't know math apparently but it's fine 
that's in here i should really like unwrap these they look really nice though in this little thing but yeah anyway that is the book haul i feel like i'm forgetting books somewhere like i feel like there's a book somewhere that i got and i just didn't like show you guys but it's somewhere on my shelf and that's fine is there anything left in here no okay i'm just making sure look at these freaking bags that indigo gave now they used to give really cute paper bags. I don't know what was wrong with them. And now they're making you buy these gross orange reusable bags. No offense, Indigo. They said they had blue ones too that were nicer, but everybody obviously picked those first. So by the time I got there, I guess, on a Saturday or whatever day I went. Anyway, that is the haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've read any of these books, what which ones are your favorites out of this pile and based off of these if you have any book recs for me please comment those down below as well also comment like if you've bought any mass amount of books recently or a few just to make me feel better i'm an impulsive buyer based on my mood so but after this i think i am going to go on a book buying ban until my birthday at least and for my birthday, I'm only going to use, like, gift cards and stuff that people give me because... Or I might even save those, to be honest, because I literally don't need any more books. And, yeah, I'm, like, good for a while unless it's, like, a continuation of a series or an author that I really like. See, I need to stop making those exceptions, too, because that's how I end up with too many books. And I already have pre-orders on the way, like, as well for that type of stuff, so I should just stop. Anyway, book buying ban. Commencing. Anything that comes in after this i've already ordered anyway thank you guys for watching like and subscribe hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one bye